Well, all new at 6 o'clock, 7 is on your side tracking what some call ticking time bombs in cars all across America. We're talking about Takata airbags that can explode, sending chunks of metal into drivers and passengers. 140 million have been recalled, but millions of cars have never been fixed. Tonight, ABC7 senior investigative reporter Lisa Fletcher talks with the auto safety expert, urging consumers to take matters into their own hands. If you thought the issues with deadly Takata airbags were in the rearview mirror, think again. How many faulty airbags are still out there? There are at least 12 million cars out there that have been recalled and not fixed. But of those 12 million, six of them are in the highest priority groups. Six million of those cars have airbags that are more likely than not to kill you than to save you in a crash. Jerry Cox is an auto safety expert. He says U.S. Takata executives hired him in 2014 to convince Japanese ownership to admit the airbag inflators were defective and dangerous. What was the reaction from Japanese executives when you suggested that they take an aggressive approach toward public safety and recall of, of the inflators? Well, it was the exact opposite of what they wanted to hear. And uh, the company decided that they just weren't going to, uh, to do that and that they didn't have to do that. What did they do instead? What they did instead was uh, to keep uh, lying about what they knew. Resulting in more deaths and injuries as defective airbags exploded into passengers and drivers, like Corey Burdick, a father of two who lost his right eye after a minor accident sent a three-inch piece of metal into his skull. They had the piece of metal was in there and it lodged into this cavity here. It's like a millimeter away from my brain, so it definitely could have killed me. Dozens have been killed, and an untold number of people have been injured worldwide. According to Cox, even after Takata became the subject of the largest recall in U.S. history, millions of Americans are still at risk. That agreement in 2015 was that they would do 100% repairs by the end of 2017. Cox says three years past the deadline and more than a quarter of the repairs are yet to be completed. Some of which, he says, are in the do not drive category. Those are unbelievably dangerous. They're the first ones that were made. There were certain aspects of the manufacturing and the design of those that make them deadlier than the other ones. I mean, nobody wants to be driving around with a hand grenade in your car, but for those, for those six million, that hand grenade, the pin's already been pulled and there's not any excuse whatsoever for those still to be on the road. You may or may not have gotten a recall notice. Many resemble junk mail. And if the car is older and has changed hands, it's not uncommon for notices to never reach the current owner. So it's up to you. Locate your VIN number and use the online tool on our website to see if your vehicle is under recall. If it is, Cox says contact a dealer who sells your make of vehicle and get it replaced immediately. I have no interest in this except for one thing and that is to get people to take these things out of their cars and not get killed and not get sliced up. There is no reason that this should happen to anybody. AAA expects Americans to take an astounding 700 million trips this summer. So it is critical that you get your vehicle checked. And if you find out that you're on the list, get it repaired immediately. It won't cost you a dime. Just go to WJLA.com. You'll find the tool there in this story on 7 on your side to put in your VIN number and see if your vehicle is under recall. You can also find it on my Facebook page. I just posted it on Lisa Fletcher Reports. Michelle?